gums shouldn't bleed when you're brushing your teeth. If you have bleeding gums, this could be called gingivitis. Gingivitis is a form of inflammation that attacks your gums right around your teeth. This is caused by the bacterial plaque that remains on your teeth because it's not removed properly from brushing and flossing. Here we have a model to demonstrate how you should be brushing your teeth at home. Make sure you have a toothbrush, electric or manual, the strokes are still the same. You want to angle the toothbrush up into where the gum meets the tooth, that's called the sulcus, and sweep down over your teeth. Make sure the bristles of your toothbrush are coming into the contact with the actual gums of the teeth. So you don't want to be only down on the tooth portion, you want to start way up high where the gum meets the tooth. Angle up to get the bristles into the gums and then sweep down. You can continue this stroke on the outside portion of your teeth and on the insides of your teeth. When talking about the chewing surfaces of your teeth, you can scrub back and forth only on the tooth portion. Again, for the lower teeth, angle down to where the gum meets the tooth and sweep up over your teeth. I like to think about pulling your pants up for the bottom, putting your shirt down from the top. Gingivitis affects everyone. This is caused by bacterial plaque that sits in and around our teeth. If this plaque or bacteria is not removed routinely, this causes the gum tissue to become inflamed. The good news is, is that gingivitis is reversible. With good oral hygiene and plaque removal, you can actually stop gingivitis. Now, when can somebody get gingivitis? Again, back to leaving that bacteria plaque in and around our teeth is what's gonna cause it. However, there's different versions of this as well. Pregnancy gingivitis occurs in pregnant females and have had hormonal changes where their gum tissue reacts very quickly to that bacterial plaque. Gingivitis can also happen with patients that are on specific medications, also with individuals that might have dry mouth. These are all things that need to be looked into when you are diagnosed with gingivitis. But again, the good news is, is that with great hygiene and plaque control, we can reverse gingivitis and its problems.